Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightmare 2. It's the morning of day 18. I do have one skill point to spend before we roll out here and I'm going to throw that into Sexual Tyrannosaurus, maxing that out. So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's hit the road. You know where we're going. We're going back to the hospital, baby. We're on a rescue mission today. This is basically like saving Private Ryan, but instead of Captain John Miller taking a whole bunch of highly trained soldiers to save Private James Ryan, it's just my dumbass going to save a robot. Out of the way, lady, I'm on a rescue mission. Can't stop for anything. Oh, we got another one. Listen, lady, I can't talk right now. I'm on a rescue mission. Thanks for understanding. Oh, lady, I told you. I can't. Oh, fine. All right, let's go. We're going right in through the front door. This is the easiest way to do it. There's a landmine right here, but I could walk right over it. You know why? Because I read a book that says it's okay for me to do that now. Just like real life, there is actually a book that you can read that teaches you how to walk over landmines. No, there's not, but there's going to be because I'm writing it and it's totally not going to be a scam money grab. We're going to go right up the stairs here, putting in our own frames. We just got to knock out these spikes here. This is way quicker than, you know, going the legit way. Junkie should be on the next floor up. These stairs should be intact. Yes, they are. And it is pretty fucking quiet in here, isn't it? Which leads me to believe that these zombies probably respawned, because I never killed them all. Yep, that is exactly what happened, and this is what I planned for. So what I'm going to do is fill this doorway in upgrade these blocks. I brought cobblestone with me so we can upgrade them to cobblestone, but the blocks surrounding them are concrete, so the zombies still might attack these blocks, but not if we double up. This should ensure that all the zombies come to this doorway over here, and the hatch is still in place. That's beautiful. Let's get this thing upgraded. Okay, and now let's put a frame in here. We'll use this block right here. The zombies, I think, can still crawl through this opening, but it makes it a little bit harder for them. Alright, we should be good. Let's put Junkie down, let him get some revenge kills. And hopefully this goes a lot smoother than yesterday. Wake up time, bitches! Alright, go to work, Junkie. Let him have it. Get your revenge. Oh, they're all definitely coming to this door, which is great. There's a cop. If we can get him to blow up, wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, he might destroy the hatch, but he'll probably kill a bunch of zombies at the same time. Oh, Junkie is pissing him off. Did he die, or is he gonna... There he is! Oh, fuck yeah! Hatch did get destroyed, but the block is still in place, so we are looking good. He's the last two. Oh, well, that was easy. Should have did that yesterday, huh, Junkie? All right, we're in. There are um, definitely some zombies trying to get to me right now, so uh, let's just make our way through here quickly before they all catch up to me, because it sounds like they're pretty close. Just got to watch our back here. I'll take all that. Good on that stuff. Anything here? Nope. Potato seed recipe? Fine. Read it for the XP. Good. Good. Oh, some ammo. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Plastic parts? Nah. Let's just go. This room looks clear. Oh, never mind. Let's wake him up. Mm. See ya, bitch. Uh-oh. Close that door. Got at least one out there. Yep. Just one. She dead. Uh, let's loot this room real quick. Don't need that. Scrap the cans. Good on the glass jars. And what's in here? One piece of paper? No, nope, one murky water. Don't need that either. Let's keep it moving. 
close that door. What do we got in here? This is just another hospital room. Oh, I'll take that vitamin. I, I've been asked plenty of times why I just eat vitamins when I find them. It's because with the vitamin, which I'm eating too, I brought two with me. Now we've got 36 minutes to where I can't get infected. So, if I get the shit kicked out of me now, at least I won't get infected, right? Good on the murky water. All right. Uh, let's go. This is, uh, part of the rooftop, the lower rooftop. Some trash. I'm good. So we're going up here. I don't think there's anything down here. We should be good. There's a bird up there. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right. Let's take this bird out. Got zombie too. Let's wake him up. All right, let's let him have this fucking club. Beautiful. This room is uh, filled with crawlers, so not a big deal. But there is a uh, a dog around the other side, so we just want to uh, do this quietly. I mean, we could beat the shit out of these guys. That shouldn't wake the dog up, but we don't want to, like, break any paintings just yet. Because that would wake the dog up. Come on, buddy. I don't want to get too close to that doorway. Because it should be, unless they changed it right in the doorway. Yep. All right. Oh. Guns work better when there are bullets in the magazine. Pro tip. Where'd you go, you motherfucker? Here he comes. Dead. Now, hold up. That sounds really close. Yep. You're gonna have to be quicker than that, lady. Or quieter. Okay. Think we're good for a moment. I want this brass. And that's it for in here. Let's check this painting. Probably nothing. No, but there is some medical supplies right here. I'll take the fort bites. That's damage mitigation, but usually I just sell that shit. Someone's breaking something. Oh, look at this. Well, let's take them out. Might as well use these arrows. Oh, bullseye! <laughs> well, let me see if I can put this arrow in the same hole. This is the way to go. Up this ladder. Nope! Okay, let's go back down. Uh, put Junkie down, because that sounds like more than one. Here we go. Nice! Oh, get him, Junkie! Yes, do my bidding! Beautiful. That is exactly why I came and saved you. For my own personal selfish reasons. Alright. Floor 6. We're getting close to the loot. Some trash in here. Good on the cloth. Well, bathroom. Let's check it. Nope. Oh, I'll take the boots. I already have level 6 scrap iron boots, but... We'll throw a mod or two in those and sell them. Let's check this. Clear. All right, this is, uh... This is where we can grab the main stash. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, even though... Oh, there's a purse right here. 21 bucks. Um, even though there is some more stuff out here, there's a little room out there with, uh, oh, shit, waking up some birds. There's a little room down there, I believe, with, um, a big ammo pile. I want to grab that, but before we do anything, I'm breaking in this door right here. Because as you can see through that little window, this is where the main stash is. Look at this. Beautiful. Let's pop this crate open. See what we got. Take the recog. I'll dump that. Get this out of the way. Bam. 
I'm not gonna be able to grab all the loot, because this big chest is in my way, but I'll be able to grab the important stuff. Okay. Very nice. What the hell is that? Security camera bundle. Beautiful. Take all that. I can't reach the health supplies unless I knock this block out. That's 5,000 hit points. The, the chest is 10,000. Um, oh, I can reach this stuff here. Hey, take that. I'm good on that. Yeah, I can't reach the medical supplies or the plug. Not a big deal. I don't care. Like I said, there's a big uh, ammo pile I want to grab, and then... Uh, oh, I forgot to use the fucking eye candy for <laughs> this shit. That's alright. I am taking the oh shit candy now, though. And I'm gonna take a Mega Crush. And we're gonna fuck with the zombies on the rooftop. But, in terms of killing them all, we don't really have to. We could leave. We got the majority of the stash. Oh, shit, I don't know, there's a zombie out here. Oh, fuck you, bird. Alright. We're okay. Where the hell is the other one? Here it is. Oh, man. Woke another one up. No big deal. Nice. Uh, is there something up there? I think there is. Yeah. Uh, we should be able to get up this way. You can jump two blocks high because the block on top has a rounded edge. Fuck you. Uh, this is the room with the ammo pile. Nice. Alright. Um, let's just go have a little fun with these assholes up here. I mean, that's why I ate the oh shit candy. There's no reason... We need to fight all these zombies. But this will be funny. Wake up, motherfuckers! Let's see who can fly and who can't. Well, I can't. But I'm fine because I ate some candy. Just like real life. You know, if you jump off a building with a mouthful of Skittles, you'll be fine. No, you won't. But who knows, maybe. I mean, I'm not a scientist. I don't know these things. I mean, that's what science is. Trial and error. So, someone's got to try it to see if it's works. Not gonna be me, though. Well, let's get some paper. Paper and schematics that we've already read, because that's all we're gonna get here. But that's okay, because we're gonna go see the traders tomorrow, their inventories restock, and we could use more things to sell. I'll take that paper, and we better unload into the motorcycle first, because our inventory is fully loaded. Where's that? Ah, to the north. Great. We'll get that on the way home. Here we go. Couple of schematics we already read, already. And like I said, I'm fine with that. A couple more we already read. Another one we already read. And some zombies. Let's do that. Oh, you bastard! That was the one schematic that I needed in that pile of books that this skinny prick just destroyed. Look at him. He looks like a walking mic stand. He uses chapstick for deodorant. He's so fucking skinny. Here we go. We got some more. You're dealing with the professional here, fellas. What's up, Kenny? Down he goes. There's another one. Kenny's dead. Oh, dropped him. Shotguns are fun. Hey, look at that. A book we haven't read yet. Ooh, 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. That's a good one, too. Here they come. Oh, damn it. I don't know where she came from. These two dropped in from the roof. I was expecting them. She must have been hiding out somewhere. Dead. Dead. Oh, damn it, big boy. I wanted to search that register. Dead. And, uh, it sounds like there are more outside trying to get in. Not too worried about it. 
Two more corn on the cob recipes. How many of those do I need? Hey, another book I haven't read yet. Find more lead in loot. Okay. Oh, that's, uh... What is that? The reserve gas tank? Yeah. Nice. You put that in a vehicle and you can hold more gas. That's a fake wall right there. Let's pop it open. Oh, police officer. Got him. Let's hit him again. Nice. Oh, three times. Four times. I mean, I don't really don't care if he blows up. I searched all this shit already. He's trying to puke at me. Got him. Got him. He's gonna blow. Got the warehouse back here. Let's check this uh, workbench. Cloth, no thanks. I know there's a zombie back here. Here we go. Dead. All right. This, uh, this is the way to go up on the rooftop there, but I want to backtrack because there uh, should be a desk safe in this room. Pop it open. Here we go. Nice. Shotgun shells, another rad remover. Paper. Steel knuckle schematic. I'll read that, even though I don't think I'll be crafting those. I don't know where the zombies are. Oh, here's one. Here's a couple more. We'll deal with them. Just free XP as far as I see it. This cracker book actually has a nice loot room. A lot of loot up here. Let's pop this open because there are definitely zombies up here too. Not in there. Alright. Oh! There's Big Mama. Scrap those. This one can't find its way out. Oh, I should have known it was you. She couldn't find her way out of a small shed with a compass and a map. Hey, why did the blonde tiptoe near the medicine cabinet? She didn't want to wake up the sleeping pills. <laughs> Uh-oh. I thought I'd cleared this place out. I guess not. Oh, took his arm off. Oh, the one-armed man still got me. Dead. I think we're good now. Except for, uh, in here. I think there's a dog, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Yep. Nice. And that's it. Look at this loot room. It's pretty fucking sweet. It's a nice POI. I've said it before. I thought they took it out of the game, but obviously I was wrong. Well, might as well go do A1 Auto. Looks like a small POI. Think we can get through this place quickly, and then we'll do that treasure chest, and then we'll call it a day. Scrap those pipes, and that's it. Let's go through here. Oh, shit. Didn't realize Kenny was standing right there. I saw the two... Bodies on the floor, and Kenny just blended right in with them. That's like Kenny camouflage right there. Good on the half-eaten sandwich. Good on the rotten flesh. I'll eat those, though. Hey, a couple of tires. 
That's nice, because I do want to get a Jeep crafted. I'll probably uh, start working on maxing out. Well, we don't have to max out intellect, because... Uh, oh, boy. To get to max all that stuff out, you need to do that if you want to unlock the gyrocopter. And I could really care less about the gyrocopter. Get out of my way. Yes. Do that work, Junkie. Couple of loot bags. Hey, Salmon. You can make fish tacos with the cornmeal we got at home. But yeah, I want to craft the Jeep. Don't really care about the gyro. Not in Navis game anyway. If we were playing a really large map, random gen, we don't we know that we need to go explore and stuff, then the gyro is good for that. But since, like I said, we're on Navis game, we know where everything is and it's not that big of a map. No reason to craft anything more than the Jeep. There's an engine. And another zombie. Somewhere. Junkie book. Charged strike. That is for stun batons. And I'll read it. Stun batons aren't as bad as I make them out to be. Um, and I know I never use them. Which is kind of a shame. You put a Stun Repulsor mod on them and they're pretty good. Especially you start pumping points into, what, Electrocutioner or whatever? But, I don't know. I would just rather a club or a Sledgehammer. Uh, there's ammo up there. Nice. What do we got back here? Oh, it goes down. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't get too crazy down there. I thought we were going to be in and out of this place. Good on all that stuff. Yeah, I don't think I've ever raided A1 Auto before. None of this rings a bell. Take the bandages. I'll take the monies and fuck off the cornmeal. Guess we're going through that door. There's nothing under here, right? Doesn't look like it. He's up. Oh, shit. Didn't think there was going to be so many. Nice. All right. Boop. Bop. And that's it. All right. Not so bad. I'm good on the murky water. This should give us gas, though. Yep. Nice. Another purse. Coin. What a crazy place. Oh. It's taking us into the backyard, I guess. Got some cars back here. Oh. Dog house. Where's the fucking dog? There's a ladder going up to the roof. Maybe that's where the main loot is. It's a crawler right here. Dead. And there's the dog. Dead. No shit! There were two. Huh. Not much. There's a bird. Take that thing out. What else? Plug. Oh, another bird. Oh, hole in one. <laughs> Look at that shit. Eat your heart out, Tiger Woods. Oh, here's the loot. Nice. Wasteland Treasures. Honey. Oh, this is a good one. You can sometimes get honey when harvesting trees. All right. Let's, um, 
Put this seven dollars away and take the nine millimeter. And then let's uh, scrap those and take those and that's good, I guess. All right, we got about three minutes left of this eye candy. Let's see if we can get to this treasure and dig it up and crack into it in that amount of time. Because I'm pretty sure the eye candy works for treasure chests. I mean, why wouldn't it? Where the hell is this thing? Let's park the bike here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this mess. Where do I even start digging? Well, the southwest corner, I guess. Let's actually dig into this, right? I guess that's the best way to do it. And we could be here for a while. Or not. It's right here. Man, that was fucking sweet. 43 seconds. Let's do it. Oh, with 23 seconds to spare. Man, that is a nice grab right there. Oh, I want this shotgun. I'll just uh, read one of these recipes here and take that. Nice. Great day. That was a great day. Successful rescue mission. A bunch of good loot. A whole bunch of stuff to sell tomorrow when we go see the traders. Can't ask for anything more. Let's get home now. We got some work to do back there. Made a couple more dart traps and a blade trap this morning. Had those crafting in there today along with some ammo. So I want to see where I can incorporate these in the base and we'll get those installed tomorrow morning uh, before we head out to the traders and uh, probably do a little bit of looting as well. We'll probably go see Hugh, then Jen, then Rick, and maybe we'll do some looting down in the desert. And then of course, day 20, we will be fighting another horde. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2 and I will catch you guys in the next episode.